Hey there, we're gonna take you through a series of videos that will give you a general overview of Bissell 360 features. In this video, you will learn the fundamentals of search. When you have a large amount of artifacts in a Bistal solution, it's uh, quite hard to find exact artifact you want to handle. And especially when you have a large amount of artifacts, the administration console also becomes too slow to operate. So we've built search in Bistal 360 with the goal of making your operations much easier. So you can search for the different types of artifacts by providing a partial name or by querying the available artifacts through several properties available. Search is the second option on the Bistal 360 menu and you can see the first one loading shows you all the possible artifacts to be searched. I'll start with searching for applications. In this case I'm not providing any parameter, the idea is just to list some of the applications available in the environment. You can type a partial name of the application. If, for instance, I'm looking for EDI applications, I could search for EDI. And then when I run search, I can see here the two applications that come up. And from here, you can navigate to the actual application in Bistal 360 to do the all normal operations that you can do when you are consulting an application. You can also search for all the other artifact types. For instance, we can search for orchestrations. And you can see here when orchestrations come in the result set, you can actually operate these orchestrations by applying the normal available operations that exist in Bistal 360. You can also search for a particular orchestration. I was searching for profile, so we can see here one that matches create user profile. And I can choose to operate it from here, clicking stop uh, as, as if you would, if you were operating this orchestration from any other location. We can also search for receive ports. And again, you can give a partial name of a receive port to get out the output. And uh, I know I have quite a few ports for testing purposes. So for instance, I want a port that contains 100. So I'll receive uh, that particular port. And actually, you can see this is being quite responsive. And I have above 500 ports available in this particular environment. We can also search for receive locations and we make available fields that are commonly searched for uh, when looking for receive locations. It's uh, quite common that you probably would want to search for a particular file location that is part of the URI. And so I could just type it and it will search me for receive locations that contain C column backslash in the URL. And I haven't shown so far, but you can for all the artifact types, you can actually filter on additional fields. Uh, for instance, filtering by application or for a particular status. Uh, depending on the artifact, the different fields will be available that you can filter on. I will, in this case, search for only enabled ports. And you can see it's matching still my URI match and also matching my status enabled. You can also search for send ports. So same concept you are, you can search for the name and the URI, and then you can do additional filtering on additional columns. You can also search for send port groups. Same concept applies. You can also search for schemas. And we can search for pipelines. And last but not least, we can also search for transforms. The intention of search is that you can very easily find the exact artifact you're looking for. You can see its details normally and that you can also operate it if it's an artifact that allows operations. And this is all from search.